What's up everybody, Tindo here. With me I've got Santa Claus with his beard shaved and I got Hannah and we're cleaning some consoles up to throw them in our booth before we leave to go to Nashville where we're gonna shop at the bins today. So let us get this work done. Hannah, what are you doing? It's super dusty in there. Oh, dust in the vents. Well, I've got a GameCube plugged up. We're trying to get sold and uh, we're gonna play a little, little Star Wars and uh, then we're gonna get on the road. Bye Santa Claus. Put them on. Yeah. What do you think? You like them? No. You don't? <laughs> they're all scratched. They're Ain't dirty. They're well, dirty. They're, well, they're dirty. They need to be wiped off. All right, so we are about to head to Nashville, but I got a few more shirts to put up in the booth to get up for sale. And then, if all goes according to plan, we will head to Nashville. Now let's go. All right, guys, we are way on the outside of Nashville, Tennessee today, and we're at a brand new Goodwill Benz. It hasn't been here long. It was interesting finding it because most of the time when you roll up on a Goodwill Benz, it's a giant warehouse type building, big Goodwill sign on the outside. But to get to this one, there's one little bitty sign, about like a yard sign, with an arrow that said Goodwill Bins this way. We passed it up, had to double back and find it. But uh, it's nice. This is a brand new facility. I can't wait to check it out. All right, I've never seen a Goodwill outlet sign quite like that. I like it though. All right, this is nice. This is super nice. All right, it's an all right size. All right, right off the bat, some Nerf darts and some Lego we'll take. <laughs> All right, well, it must be meant to be because there's the Nerf gun and it's got its clip. That is the clip that originally came with this gun, the see-through one, and the batteries work. So my first impressions of this place is that it's actually really nice, very clean, and it actually kind of smells good, which is weird. But they've got quite a good clothes selection going on. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows of clothes, and then like two rows of shoes, which I'm very excited to see as well. Sorry, I saw something neon, had to look at it. Um, so I'm excited to get dug in. Look at all these starts. Listen, Ooh. all right, listen, we've been here for like five minutes and I'm hiding in the bathroom just to catch my breath because I've already dug up two whole bins and found a cart full of Nerf stuff. What did we just walk into? So I'm taking a quick scan through the shoes because as you can imagine, we are very tired from this week's worth of work. So digging through those giant bins, cardboard boxes of clothes right now seems very challenging. So I'm gonna work up to it by getting over to the shoes first, seeing what they have. They play 
Dude, let's go find more baby. Here, put it in the hole. Ripcord. Middle ones though, not the new ones. So, I want to show you two things real quick. First of all, the only video game stuff I've found so far is a copy of Tekken, yeah. not bad, but go. then. A completely bootleg copy of Final Fantasy 7 and even the disc is bootleg like it's it's not just a bootleg case all bootleg and then this tub is completely full of Beyblade well not completely full I guess that's an exaggeration but there's like 30 Beyblade in there we found it all in this bin so we're gonna sweep the whole bin real quick just to make sure there's no stragglers because if I haven't made this clear before, I love me some Beyblade. Also, that's a chonker. It's a transformer, I guess. Interesting. Ooh, Beyblade, Jolly Rancher, should I eat it? No. I bet, I'll give you a dollar. don't have time because we got to go but there is books and a big media section there's surely some video games in here but we're gonna have to come back in a couple days to really find that out we've got to meet someone for dinner so we got to get out of here so I'm gonna throw everything we got in this here bag nerf darts check chonker chew check video game check bootleg no just gonna kind of go through everything we got here now so we don't have to do it at the end of the video because we do have dinner with friends and then we gotta go meet family so there's not gonna be a lot more vlog left to do after this but this is a manual to a lego set we actually have at home right now so bueno labels found one pez one regrets vhs some random toys like transformers that I'm gonna put in sets and resell. A whole set of uh, deck protector sleeves. I mean, I've never found that at the bins before. Don't fight me, I'm getting the rubber ducks. Hannah's looking at me like, why? You know why. Okay, so that's all Beyblade. That's wild. Double Nerf guns. Will they go in the bag? It's gonna be tight. They're in there. A couple more Nerf parts. I'll probably just put this in my Nerf, Nerf bucket and resell it, but it's just some military tactical gear type stuff. Even more Nerf. Can you believe we're in town to resell Nerf guns? We walk into bins and all this is here. I don't know what for, but I feel like we need that. I'm not gonna buy the fishing worms, but I just thought it was wild that there's a whole brand new bag of them there. 
one Pokeball, one Disney Infinity. This is wild. This is a charger and a battery to a camera that Hannah and I actually have up for sale right now. It's missing a charger, so that's awesome. And then throw this drone back. Some blank note cards. We actually went to the store to buy these the other day and couldn't find any that didn't have lines on them. So gonna get those. And what do you think? Newton's cradle, should we get an untangling? Hannah's shaking her head no. I've always wanted a Newton's cradle. Are you shaking your head no because I'm gonna make you untangle it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then a Beyblade bowl. And that's what we're getting. Can't even zip it. All right, you put the cart up. I'll uh, I'll go, we, we might actually have to have a cart. I don't know, they've got regular wares. All right, so we are gonna get out of here now. We're not gonna talk about all the stuff we got at the end of the day, but we will talk more about this Goodwill Bins in a little bit. For now though, let's check out. Check, right. check. Thank you very much. So we were in there for less than an hour. We have a good, good friend of mine who I haven't seen in two years. And I'm talking one of my best friends in the whole world. And we haven't been able to meet in person in two years. So we absolutely have to do dinner with him while we're here. And uh, that's where we're going now. We're gonna go have sushi with him. So that's why our first experience at this particular Goodwill outlet was just like, we were like in there for, for 52 minutes and we're out now. But we are in Nashville for the next few days. To be completely honest with you, there's another bins here in Goodwill that we have been to. If you wanna see the other Goodwill bins that's here in town, you're probably gonna to have to just go look it up on our channel because I don't think we're gonna go there. I think we're gonna spend all week here because that was just so good. If I come back here tomorrow and a second again, and I come back the next day and a second again, I'm not going home. <laughs> that was wild. I mean, I didn't find a lot of video games. It would have been nice to find some that had the discs in them. I found a lot of video games that didn't have the disc in them. That's typical with the bins. And also, Hannah found this Pokeball on the way out. All right, hold this. But uh, that was great. That's all stuff in that bag we can take back to our toy booth and sell tomorrow. Uh, and one of those guns that I found is actually a high selling gun, so. All right, guys, that is it. We are done for the day. We uh, finished at the bins pretty quickly and then we ran off to my nephew's birthday party. We ate a bunch of pizza and Hannah ate a lot of ice cream cake. <laughs> uh, but I just want to talk real quick about that bins before we end today's video. I'm not joking. I mean, we might have just hit it on a lucky day, but like that, that thing shot really close to the top of my favorite lists. Yeah, I'm really excited. They didn't bring out any clothes bins while we were there. We were only there for like 45 minutes. So I'm really excited to see what kind of clothes they bring out whenever it is a fresh bin. Yeah. So normally when we go to a Goodwill bins, we kind of do a, a walk through and talk about the prices and lots of other things about uh, bins we haven't been to but we didn't have the time to today so we will definitely be going back there in a couple of days we probably won't go tomorrow uh, no promises but we should be hitting up a big flea market here in nashville tomorrow but we'll see but yeah that bins is just great and i don't maybe it's because of the time of day we went or maybe it's just because that bins is so brand new but like there was nobody there just yeah it was it was really nice. Yeah, <laughs> it was so clean. It was and brand new. It had a lounge. Like the Goodwill bins in Arkansas had like chairs you could go sit on, but this one had like a separate lounge. A whole room. <laughs> that just listen. I, I've been saying for a long time that like I love Phoenix because the Goodwill bins is so so good. But like we've been to a couple of bins on this trip that make me not want to go back home. <laughs> So uh, you can definitely expect here in the next couple of days while we're here in Nashville that we'll spend a lot more time at that bins. We might even skip the other one that's in town just because we've done it a few times and this one's new to us. I don't know. I'm not promising anything. Anytime I promise you guys something, we go do something wildly different. But that bins was pretty awesome. Like to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. So definitely let us know. And then also hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can both be subscribed and get notifications when we go back to that bins if you want to know more about it. Because I certainly am excited to go explore it because we really just know the basics right now. It's $1.09 per pound. Yeah, super where, cheap. Whereas uh, our bins back home is $1.39 per pound. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. I like how cheap those prices are. So 
definitely subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell because you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna come hang out with us there when we go there for like a full day here in a couple days. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll talk to you on the next one. Peace out.